dear friends this is my tutorial 45 in wasp in this tutorial you can learn how to use fee for wasp software to plot band structure and total density of state and also projected density of states okay so before going to use that software you should watch this video this is tutorial 5 in wasp i have already made this video so in this video i explained how to do band structure calculation in wasp and analysis with wasp kit so if you watch this video you can uh, know how to do this band structure calculation in order to get your uh, wasp run dot xml file so that is very important file so you can watch this video you can uh, do your band structure calculation you can get your vespran xml file okay so this is uh, one video so another video also i made it here this is tutorial 40 in this video i have made for only uh, hsc 06 hybrid functional band structure calculations okay you can also watch this video and you can get your vespran xml file so this file is very very important to use the to use uh, p4 wasp software okay yeah so please watch these two video this is very important okay now we will see how to plot uh, band structure and also density of state and projected density of state okay so this is the software i will share you this one this is uh, open source version only so you can use it uh, i think you no need to install this software you have to just you can download it and uh, just to keep it in the desktop oh, that's okay that's all there is no need to there is no no need to any installation for this one okay so just we will start work on this one so just double click yeah like a small window like that it will open so we can increase the size okay this is the p4 wasp the software okay so now we will open our wasp run xml file okay go to file or you click this one open if you open it will show something you can uh, go to your corresponding folder by clicking c drive so if you are have d drive just go to d drive so I have everything in C drive only here. So this is the my folder here. It is studio. So here you can see ban MOS2 fee for us just I made for you. So if you go there, you will see all the files under that folder. Okay. So here you can see vespran.xml file. Just click OK. Okay, that's all then here you can see different kind of things so if you want to click that e minus dos plus band just you click it you will get your uh, total dos okay this is the total dos so another method also is there so go here show you can show you can click uh, band means it will show band structure okay so it will show band so if you want to show band and uh, DOS, just click it. It will show that uh, band structure and the corresponding that DOS figure. Okay, like that it will show. So now we will only use DOS. So one more thing, if you want to change uh, DOS X axis, just uh, click this. So it will change into X axis. Okay, if you want to normal DOS, just uh, click it, you will get normal DOS. Okay now we will export this dos things okay this is very important so in order to use your uh, origin to plot that uh, figure okay just to go there export okay this is the export we need to choose our um, path so before going to do just to create one folder okay so i will create one folder inside that uh, for folder if you want it you can create anywhere so just i will make one folder here so back test just i will make so i think it's opened somewhere 
so i will create new folder ex1 okay just i will make x1 so here go to c drive again my name and then this one you can go there so here you can see x1 okay just click x1 so now you have to put the name of the file okay name of the file is t dos dot dat okay just to type here then click ok okay now ready here you can see raw data that data file so different kind of this there we don't, don't want that one just you can use raw data okay just click export yeah our tdos data file is generated okay just you can close it so now we will save our band structure file okay just go to show band this is the band okay just go there again uh, graph and export so similarly you can choose the folder so here you can change into c go to your for corresponding folder x1 here band dat okay so now here you can export it so our band data file also generated so now we will tell you how to get your projected uh, DOS okay so just you can close it so here go to show DOS and also go to electronic local DOS and band controls so this is very important so here you need to select your atom so what are the atoms there you must know so if you uh, i think this is the molybdenum sulfide so i will select uh, mo so here i will select d orbital only description just i want to mention so here only up only is that there is no down uh, um, this dos so here deselect yes deselect all so select only d orbital only i want dx y y z dx z dz square dx square minus y square this orbital only i want just i selected okay so then you what you have to do add new line Yeah, that's all. This is the d orbital of AMO. Okay, mm, that's all. Then we want to s orbital means just you can uh, choose s here and p orbital. So here deselect d and select p orbital. Okay, p x, p y, p z, and add new line. So now, so p orbital also generated. This is the green one. Okay so now we can also export these three things so go to graph and export likewise choose here you can change into c go to your corresponding folder so x1 p dos dat so their total dos also is there and also p dos also is there for molybdenum and sulfur so click ok and export so our pdas file also generated ok so this is the things I have clearly explained how to make the band structure okay using that uh, data files uh, in this video and also in this video also I mentioned how to plot uh, your data uh, band structure data using origin so just you can watch this two video you can understand how to plot your band uh, structure okay you understand you using origin and in this video I plotted that PDOS for uh, that molybdenum sulfide using origin you can also watch this video i have plotted that uh, data files okay you can understand easily that's all 
so i will share this uh, software you can people can use it so just i can plot one for your total uh, dos or band structure so i will show you the data files this is the band data file just open with notepad plus plus you will see the band structure this is the data file so we can also drag this file into that uh, origin you will get your plot just i will tell you one so open your origin okay just uh, drag this so just select this one and go to plot yeah, you will get your uh, plot so just make this uh, adjustment here and uh, here there and you will get your uh, plot okay so then if you want to see your total dos just to drag total dos file you will get your total dos file so go to plot just you can plot it and you will select this one under plot you will get your dos file just adjust this uh, y and a x axis you will get that perfect one so that's why i told you watch my earlier videos i clearly explain how to plot this kind of plot easily okay so that's all so you can watch my videos and you can make it your plot using this p4 wasp so i thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you for watching enjoy